I just thought I would do a review on the new Criminal Enterprises vehicle, the Drago. Uh, I have already modified it in the garage, which is you know the standard colours red. So that's been modified to black, obviously, and pearlescent black as well. Uh, the front bumper has been modified, as well as the winch and the Rhino underbelly uh, shield. The doors have been chromed, the exhaust is on the outside, um, and also extra wheel, because when it comes with two straps in with those at the back, that's the extra one like uh, I've already got on as the one. And then obviously NOS strapped to the back. Not that that thing, I don't think that makes any difference to the car. I think it's just for style, but it looks good nevertheless. Uh, and uh, I've modified the seats uh, to what it looks like there. And it's also got a snorkel on there, on the side, the black snorkel. So I'm going to take it uh, off-road and uh, see what it's like. D-Class Drago Off-Road well, Let's see what she's like shall we? Off-Road you say? Off-Road Right oh, Boom she takes off quick Purpose have gone this way because I know some awkward turns around here and I want to see how it handles them. Not bad. Any other car would have powered that, but I didn't. Not bad. Its brakes are pretty decent, to be honest. They're not bad. Get out of the way. Yeah, the brakes aren't too bad. Let's see if it can handle this. Whoa! Straight up the ramp. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, you could do this on Kurt Perry Curve, couldn't you? Ooh, look at that. Oh, yes. Ooh, look at, I wonder if I can do that one. I doubt it. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, I love it so far. Loud's a fan. Eee, looks a bit too much for it there. Probably um, that pipe right in the way. But yeah, bumps, uh, bumps don't bother it. And it tips up a little bit. Um, I suppose maybe most cars would, I suppose, but Let's hope my, uh, my armor plating works. It's not just for sure. <clears throat> can it go over that ridge? Normally cars would crash. Ooh, it can. You hit it, but it does make it. Normal cars wouldn't go up there, so yeah, it's alright. Can it go up this? Yeah, it can. I like that little whine when it reaches its peak. Yeah. I think if that pipe on a bit now, I think it might have made that. Alright, well so far it lost a couple of marks there when it rolled, because I don't think we should have done that really, but um it managed it. Tiny bit of a struggle, but it managed it. But yeah. Oof, jump that alright. Oh yeah, it's going up here like butter, look at that. Hill starts, what's that like? Oh yeah, no problem. No problem there. Nice, steep inclines. Nice. Tumble and tumble and roll. just tumbled down that mountain and any other car would have been trashed. 
that has got a couple of <laughs> a couple of grazes down the side. Other than that, it is barely touched. <laughs> I've just tumbled down that hill. Any other car had been trashed. Well, it's looking good so far. Can it go up that? Oh, flips. A bit too steep. Oh, am I stuck now? Oh, bloody hell. Alright, the only way I can get out of that one then is by doing this. Can't get into it. Okay. Is she right to herself? And she's away. Right, so that might have damaged it a little bit. The light's gone out and whatnot, but uh, she's still good to go. We can climb up this. Nope, manage it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I think rest assured, uh, whatever's happening to you, maybe provide. Oh, I lost something there. Lost the, uh, lost the um, bonnet there. But after all, it's tumbling. I don't think it can really be limited to be honest. It's getting a bit knackered now. But then don't forget it has had an atomic blast shot. I hit five or six times. Uh, but I think unless somebody's coming at you with a rocket or trying to shoot the shit out of you because uh, obviously you're hardly any doors on, you might probably have a problem. Uh, but getting away from the cops or getting away from um, anybody in a helicopter maybe or so and so, I don't think they're going to stand a chance because I think this has got um, such good traction. I mean, hills are uh, its playground. Any other car of a total? I mean, I'm, on, I'm already... On, already across that ridge from over there what in a matter of seconds two seconds any other vehicle even the best all-terrain vehicle wouldn't have done that as well so i think uh, yeah this is uh, certainly got good marks for me is this wowzers hey and as you know anybody who might buy this uh as you'll probably already know this but you know it's like 1.8 million to buy it but if you um, participate in 10 races of the uh, KO Perigo races, you trade price. If anybody didn't, uh, you, you, will, uh, you will know, but it's uh, one of them things. But uh, yeah, I think she's alright. Certainly well protected on these mountains. Rough and tumble all the way down. She's still got loads to give. Right, bumper car all the way. I have thought to myself, because um, it's got a snorkel, can I actually go in water? But I thought if you do it, it might get destroyed, but um, I'll have to find that out, I suppose. If it's got a snorkel, it should be able to have. But uh, doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to have a problem climbing up any of these steep hills or getting rough and tumble all over the place and going up steep hills like this. It's managed it. Look, look at how wowzers! That really is impressive to come up that steep hill. That is impressive to come up there. That is really impressive. Especially that. 
Well, I suppose the only way we're going to have to find out is uh, if it can actually uh, go... I know it won't go in water, but it's got a snorkel, so I'm just interested to know if it can actually go in water. If it can't, uh, I suppose I'm insured it's going to cost me, but uh, it's got a snorkel. No, it can't. Your vehicle has been destroyed. So it can't go in water. So anyone that wanted to try, uh, don't because your car will be destroyed. So let's find out what it would cost you. Mutual, how can I be of service? It would cost you £20,000. So, any of you that wanted to see if it would go in water, don't try it because it will cost you £20,000. I'll do my best. So, um, I kind of I kinda didn't think it wouldn't go in water anyway. I thought to myself, well, there's no reason why a car would go in water. And I thought, well, the fact that it's got a snorkel, is it really for style, or can it actually go in water? And, you know, on this game, sometimes there are things that happen, and you don't expect them to, and you don't find out of something. I thought, well, you've got to try it on you. You've got to try it. Better to make something cooler or better than the rest, so it's expected to be able to do something at some point, so I thought I'd just give it a try. But now we've confirmed that um, it's, it can't go in water. Um, so do not try. And it will cost you 20,000 to repair it. So don't. Oh dear, oh dear. I, well, I couldn't resist it. So, there you go. You know that uh, what the car's like. I think uh, the D-Class uh, Draga is uh, a very, very good car off-road. Very, very good car off-road. I think that is probably the best car to buy off-road because if I'm honest with you yes there are other cars that can climb steep inclines that you saw me do yes there are some and yes there are some that can handle exactly what you've just seen me do yes there are but if I'm honest with you I don't think I've ever seen one handle as well as that and as quick as that and take as much rough and tumble as that did before it started to get damaged uh, it's worth it so um, yeah I'd buy one Thumbs up from me. Right. Bye, everybody.